What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to the tenants. It has finally hit full release just a little while ago, I think towards the end of October. And I did want to come back and take a look at what we had here. We did play this like a year or so ago. So let's go. Let's pick this guy. That kind of looks like me, right? Big, big, big old doofus, right? Shabby doofus. All right. Uh, we'll do landlord mode. Sensor pets. That's weird. Oh, pests. Ah, I thought that said pets. I'm like, why would you censor your pet? That's goofy. You come across a bug or simply want to tell us how you feel. Let us know. Welcome to Wondersville. We're currently struggling with a small immigration crisis, but it's a great town. Most of the city can't be accessed for now. But we'll unlock other districts over time. Ready to dive in? Click on the slums district and meet me there. I'll explain more as we go. Click, click, click. There you are. I've seen folks get lost in this place before. Anyhow, check out your cell phone. I've left a job for you. Better take it before someone All right. else does. I need someone um, to turn my old trailer into a well, proper living done. space. I knew you would do just fine. Okay. Now on to the real thing. Take a look at my old camper. I'm renting it to my friend, Pedro, and it might look messy, but I bet you'll make it all nice and fancy. Might look messy. So it's like a literal started. fucking dump. Begin cleaning. It looks like the place is littered with garbage. No wonder I smelled something. I was starting to think it was you. Why don't we start with that? I know you don't like to get your hands dirty, so let me know what you want. Great. Nothing will stop the two of us if we keep this up. Still plenty to go, though, including a bunch of damaged and broken furniture. Let me know what I should do with it. All right. Yeah, so a big portion of this game, obviously, is uh, being a slumlord, right? So we are going to have a bunch of tenants, and we're going to be able to build up houses, repair them, kind of like a little house flipper. So, like, here, I could scrap this for 99 bucks or repair it with a 75% chance. Let's try repair here. Bam, repaired. Then I can sell it for 166 bucks. Restore. And repair. Fix a Rooney. I wonder if like you just always repair these. And that was the last of it. Phew. You can end this whole cleaning bonanza by politely pointing me to the front door. Try it. I'm gonna sell all of this guy's stuff. <laughs> Trailer's clean. All right, gotta go. Yeah, I do want to exit. It's a little hard to see, so click on the apartment and enter renovation mode. I want to see how our. All right, welcome to renovation mode. Okay, cool. Walls, furniture it done. Already looks so much better. Now let's take care of the oh. floors. Oh well, Look maybe we'll make some money off this. Right and pick the appropriate type of floor. You can hover over item icons to learn more about them. We'll use concrete for our boys here. Oh, it said carpet. Damn it! <laughs> Just like that. Got a trailer has carpet. If you can do the walls Finish the walls well. green. Don't to check the requirements on the right side of the screen. Gonna turn around. Perfect. Bam. That now looks the most ugly part, as hell. Furnishing. Pick whichever piece of furniture Shower you cabin. And place it in the apartment. You can rotate These are going to be nice and cheap. On the screen. Just look at the bottom right hand UI. Where's the rotate? Hold. Oh. There we go. Ah, you're getting the hang of it. Great. Now the toilet. I'll you to it. Finish up the place however you like. But remember that you have to meet all the requirements Toilet before paper. you can deliver the job. Just plop it on the floor right there. Why not? A toilet brush. Put it right there in the corner. A mirror. Put it right here. Just so like you can see when someone's coming around the corner to try and sneak in. All right. We got a fridge now. Nice little mini fridge. Got our bed again. Uh, we'll give him an air mattress. It's perfect. 
right there. An armchair. Hey, look, we made we saved some good extra cash here. And then a TV. All right. What does this mean? Piece of furniture missing utility access for water. I guess we'll get into that. Preferred furniture DVDs. There you go. There's some DVDs. All right. So that should be good. So maybe this doesn't quite work. Maybe it has to be within the blue. Oh, wait, maybe. No, because that's the entrance. Okay, I guess it just needs access to the back. Not really sure what this one's problem is, but we'll just put it right there. Came out better than I expected. Now head over to the finalize tab and click on deliver job. Deliver the job. Let's let someone now move into this ship. Your first official job. I'll tell what you begins? a secret. Your aunt, complete the first job. Left you this unit. I think it's a perfect opportunity to get your landlord career started. But the apartment will require some upfront work before we can rent it out. Click on the apartment. Switch to the Upgrades tab and begin the installation of electricity. We only have 4,500. Apartment upgrades are quite a few permanent upgrades you can install in your properties. Include electricity, heating, water. Fortunately, we got the last one covered for you. Okay. Apartment upgrades. They cost money, take time to complete. Most upgrades will also require manual configuration. Once the base utility is in place, once you have electricity, you'll also have to install actual power outlets. That's pretty neat. Okay. Usually, it takes some time to perform the basic installation. Oh, yeah, you can now see. Now that we have the electricity installed on our property, good. Now you'll have to use your smarts. We need to install the electricity sockets with a furniture layout in mind. But don't worry. You can move these later if they don't fit your design. Select That's the upgrades tab. Choose the electric wall outlet and let me know where you want me to place it. I suggest we do the one that'll be connected to the fridge first. Usually, outlets cost money, but I found a few spare ones in the trunk of my car that we can use. What first. the percentage is? Oh, it's like the space coverage. Okay. Like you see when it gets behind the wall here, it's losing coverage. So the fridge, we'll do like the bathroom over here where the outlet is, I guess. And the fridge is here. So why don't I put it right, right there? Looks good to me. Now you can add as many as you want. Just exit the renovation when you're okay. done. Okay. So then I'll put one here. We'll put one way up here on the on the ceiling so people have a hard time getting to it. And we'll do one more over here in the corner. Normal height. I wanted to move that. Yes, I can't click it. Okay, that's cool. Exit renovation mode, leave. Now that we've got electricity. You'll have to take on some more jobs and save up for installing the heating and for some renovation work. Good luck. I'm going fishing. Okay. I get I guess that's just it. App. I've got something special for you. Ooh. You'll learn the basics of taking care of tenants through my friend Pedro. Where'd it go? Uh, home, jobs, payment two grand. You get a couple of noisy tenants looking for someone to help take care of them. Budget of eight grand, get 30 landlord points. Let's do it. Babysitting tenants require you to take care of tenants in a way that maximizes the happiness. Work on making sure you you resolve their issues promptly. If given enough time and funds, you can look into getting them something nice. Each tent's characterized by their archetype, traits, likes, and dislikes. The archetype denotes what kind of person they are, what they like to do on a day-to-day. -day. Traits influence behavior as a renter and the way you need to take care of them. Likes and dislikes come into play when you're trying to please them. Believe it or not, our good old Pedro isn't easy to please and is not very happy with our renovation. Talking, I mean, it's happier. pretty shit. Open his tenant now. Open the gift menu. Send him something. And He's an alcoholic, a janitor with 89000 a year. Must work in, like, New York City or something. Give him a 
the donut. Well done. Now you can go back to earning enough cash to install oh, heating at your aunt's oh, place. Simple job renovations unlocked. Awesome. Let's so let's go do that. It's my birthday today? No, it's not. No, it's not. You're just a nice person. Okay. So jobs. Let's see. Look for someone to help me take care of them. Like, what does that mean? Like, take care of them. Like, it doesn't really complete take care of the tenant's needs. So let's see. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Likes, dislikes. He likes drinks, dislikes flowers, vintage posh. He's upset with me. If I click, close this, close this. There we go. So if I click this, doesn't like let me go in. Maybe I just have to give him all these different gifts. I don't know what this top hat means though. Oh, these are landlord points. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's just go find a new job. Let's go grab this renovation. It's got one room to renovate. Okay. Begin the renovation. All right. So they want finished floors. So this is the room we're renovating right here in blue. So they want to get some hardwood in here and they like modern dislike vintage. So that's rustic, basic, contemporary. Temporary is pretty modern, but we'll stick with the basic. Sports room. Why does it say sports room? It's a bathroom. That's weird. All right. So finished walls blue. Let's see. Do we have anything modern? Nope. This is a very goofy room color. Like everything's so pieced together. All right, a workout bench. Oh, I guess we can like just sell this stuff. Because we're going to turn this into a workout room. So we'll put a workout bench and he wants two of them. Color variants. Most times come in a few color variants. You can give it to them. Da, 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 da. Okay. Color variants, undo, back, many. Okay. Actually, why don't we move this? Do it kind of like this. Then we'll do the same thing just next to it. What do we have for color variants? Ooh, the green's kind of cool. Kind of goes with the blue here. That wall's not blue, though. What? Why is this wall color different? Okay. Not going to ask questions. That's goofy. Let's get a barbell in here. Plop that here. You like the gift. Thanks. All right. Exercise mats. We'll put one here. I kind of like this. Just having it like kind of up in the corner like this. All right. A cabinet. Oh, not a ceiling cabinet, though. Flop it over here, I guess. TV. Wall shelves. This is modern. All right, audio system. Man, these guys are expensive. All right, they want some DVDs. We can put these up on the shelves. Two mirrors. You got to look at yourself while you're working out. Motivational posters. 
This is modern. Work hard, play hard. We need outlets in here. All right. How do I get outlets though? Missing utility access. Floors designs maybe over here? No, right here. Aha. Like I get a floor outlet. Interesting. All right. Preferred furniture is the dumbbells. We already got the dumbbells. Oh no, we got barbell, not dumbbell. This is a modern one. Okay, come on. I'm just trying to turn it. There you go. And that looks pretty decent. All right, let's end the job. Leave. Okay, so room one. This is the sports room. Posh, basic, modern. Okay. I think it's done. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the door. Item placement on top of that a good interior designer should consider item connections. Oh, cool. Like this can't be reached. There we go. Now it can. I'll also just center this now. All right. And now I hit the door. Guess not. This door. Hello. May I go now? How do I leave? I could have sworn I was just like hit, touch the door and then we get out of here. What does this say? You can increase the decor by placing it on some other piece of furniture. Well, yeah, it is on. So, oh, it means this thing too. That's all right. That's okay. That'll do. Deliver job. Uh oh. I must not have been able to deliver the job because I didn't have the. Uh, all the gifts in the world wouldn't make Pedro happy to be. Oh no! I didn't have one of the the workbenches accessible. I don't have any patience left to deal with this guy. We're going to have to resort to drastic measures. My favorite. Let's kick him out. Now click oh, sabotage. on the sabotage button, and remember not to mention this to anyone. Choose whichever option you prefer. Anyone I prefer? How about a skunk? Wait, that says fourteen. New items unlocked. Great. Great. We got more stuff. We'll do the trumpet guy. That sounds awful. Uh, if you have the buck to spend, you can look into the available service of a sabotage option, which provide an extra opportunity to interact with your tenant. Treat your renter to something they like or hate if you want to greatly influence their Call happiness. Bad friend, but I can't... Wait to see his expression when he gets what he deserves. Let's hope that will be the final straw to make him break. Break the lease agreement. When you like pause the game, it stops the sounds. Like I paused and the trumpet guy stopped. Now I can't hear him. That was sad. What did he have to say for himself? Oh, skill tree. Looks like there's some uh, learning points. Oh, cool. So we got a uh, tenant, landlord, and uncle. Cool. Right, let's check our messages. The gift was nice. You do love music, but this guy really makes a lot of noise. Really unpleasant. Awful interior. Awful landlord. Should I keep going? I guess this is enough. Goodbye. I'm leaving. Now we unlocked the night kitchen. Excellent. So he's gone. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for better. Job reviews, we got five stars, five stars. Um, This thing that we started has four stars. Okay. Let's check out the skill tree. So in the landlord tree. So like the tenant, so that's the trumpet guy. A professional chef comes in and cooks a meal for the tenant. 
A mad skunk vandalizes the apartment. Unlocks gifts. Like these are like gifts and sabotages and services. Okay. The uncle is probably like the work he'll do around the house. Increases repair chance. Increases restoration chance. Walking speed. Increases tenant happiness when solving issues. Those are pretty useful. And then if we go to landlord. Unlocks lease duration option two months. It's not letting me unlock that one yet. We haven't become a landlord, I suppose. I will do... Oh, I can't do that either. Can I unlock this? Yes. 5% chance, and I'll do uh, a restoration of 5% chance, because those are actually really good. Saves you money. And if you restore certain things and you get them, you can uh, potentially keep some really good stuff. All right, let's set up uh, apartment utility heating. Because if you're liking the tenants, you do want to keep seeing some more series where we keep going and doing some nice renovations. Show me that love by hitting that like button down below. It really tells me a lot. Make sure you're subscribed while you're down there. Or you can be back here for that next episode. All right. Can't begin clean without utilities in place. So we got to install the heat for six grand, which we barely had enough money for. Okay. Babysitting tenants. I'm just going to click through all these. Okay. Speed up time here. We'll get $5,000 for setting that up. So we just basically only spent a thousand for heating. Still kind of poor, earned $10,000. Nice. We are still kind of poor. All right, now we can finish the renovation. Oh, 500 per heater. So configure right here, heating. The core of the plumbing installation, water piping. Ah, this is the air vent. Oh, so this will do the whole room, though. That's nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, and that's water hookups. Okay. So that's why I had trouble with that, with that uh, shower in the first place. That's actually a really neat feature. Leave. Here we go. I've got a surprise for you. But first... We need to clean this place up. Begin the cleaning. Player storage That's unlocked. Right. I've managed to track down a nice little storage area for your scavenging hunts. Do you know how many folks are okay with you throwing away their broken furniture? Well, now you can try to fix it instead and store it in your stash for later use. Hell yeah. Like you saw there, the scrap option was like 400 buckaroonies. So obviously this was 100% chance. There is quite special. Be on the lookout for the so-called unique items and make sure you don't waste them on some fool's rundown studio apartment. So you can see now it's anyway, worth 666 rather than 400, up. so a little bit more than a 50% return. But in, then we can store this so we could use it for a better house. Same here. Restore 83. Scrap for 69. Let's try to restore it. Treasure Hunter acquired. Add a unique item to storage. Like now it's a buck 16. We'll keep that here. It's just a basic couch, so there's nothing special about it. Beautiful. Exit. So we have to exit when we are our uncle. Got it. Yep. We can finally get to work and finish up Auntie's old place. All right. Now we can begin the renovation. Uh, ready to rock and roll. You can now access can remodeling see, tools. Awesome. You've unlocked a new renovation tab called That Was Nice. But let's see if you can build walls as good as you can tear them down. Not bad. Now on to the doors. They can only be placed in an already existing inner wall. Try and see if you can do it. Plop okay, a door here. Okay, not bad. But did you know that you can also edit windows in your properties? Go ahead and build a new... Lastly, the demolish button can be used to tear down walls and remove windows. Switch to demolish and select a window that you want to get rid of. It looks like you've learned the basics by now. It's time to meet all the requirements on the list. All right, so now we can plop a bed in here. Design, the wealthier tenants will want to live in your units. I'll leave you to do your thing. You're the boss after all. We'll go for like a nice wine double bed here. So 
unfortunately, obviously we're a bit poor. So this is going to be a studio apartment, right? So I'm going to go with the, the bed down here in this corner. We'll do the living room over here. Like this living room toilet, of course. Come on. Yeah, you know what? The water's over here, but I'm going to move that. Dismantle. Very well. I'm going to plop one of those over there. It'll work just fine. I wanted to move it, but I don't know if you can move it. Maybe I just need to press a specific button, but... All right, we'll get ourselves a nice little fridge. We'll get a glass fridge. We'll put that on this wall. Right there in the electricity zone. And then the fuse box. Some results are hidden due to filter tags. Put that over here. Okay. Maybe you just didn't want it in that room. Let's do a little bit of upgrades here for the house as well. You know, they said the better it looks, the more someone will want to live in. So let's grab some poshy walls here. Looks pretty sweet. And then I'll do just a little bit of an accent here just to specify this change. And then we'll do the bathroom in a nice white tile. Excellent. Let's get some floors. So for here, let's do it like this. Let's grab some kit. I should be able to like filter by type, right? Yeah, we can. So like none. Let me go for like a contemporary look. There we go. We'll take a concrete slab over here. We'll do a nice blue linoleum. And then I'll just do stone right there. Not the greatest, but it'll do for such a small house like this. All right, let's wrap this up here. So 92% contemporary bathroom, 48 contemporary out here. So not bad. We'll leave. It looks like the remodeling affected our utility setup. Before renting out the unit, we need heating vents installed. Open the apartment's upgrades tab. Well, the only thing left is installing the vents in rooms with no heating. Once we're done with that, we oh, can find okay. our first tenant. So each room is going to need a vent, job. which makes sense. Now let's head to the exit. Awesome. New items unlocked. All sorts of good stuff. You've unlocked a new phone element. Looks like you've got the place ready to go. Let's go to the open house panel and start it right now. The During whole apartment house, rooms to rent. That's pretty sweet. In your rental, will come by to check the apartment out. It looks like we got our first potential tenant. How exciting. Let's click on her and try to make a good deal. Cindy Finley, mind, huh? Salary of 82 grand. She's a fast food worker. Where do these people work? Willing to pay for it. I'll be, I'll take 83,000 to be a fast food worker. All right. Terms of the lease 30 days apartment score. She's pretty happy with. The question is so if she's that happy, selected rent price, total income with an 833 subsidy. All right, let me go with like four grand. Oh, hold on. So available occupation bonus zero. She likes vintage and pa and unique, doesn't like posh as much. Let's go down to 3750. She wants fourteen hundred. All right, all right. You drive a hard bargain. I'll do twenty two fifty. All right. Right up to twenty five hundred. Twenty three fifty. Twenty four. All right. Except it feels like that's probably a good spot to be in. Lured in? What does that mean? 
Signed in the first tenant, sucker. 2400 for this piece of shit? Jesus. Poor girl. Elite contracts are unique jobs that will take you around the more grand oise properties of Wondersville. Uh, they feature an array of unique items that won't be able to find anywhere else unless you play it dirty and decide to snatch a few of them for yourself by adding them to your player storage. You have an unlimited amount of time to accept these, so you have to act quick if you're down for something extra spicy. Cool. Very nice. All right, so that's a... What is this? A heart? Oh, thank you. All right, so that is our first look over at uh, the tenants here. We'll definitely be coming back. Is she pissing on the floor? What are you doing? Oh, she's playing like a... A virtual reality game. Very nice. That looked very weird from behind. All right. So we'll be coming back again and we'll be doing some nice little tenant stuff. We got some jobs to do here. You can see maybe we'll do this uh, prestige job next. So make sure you subscribe to see that so we can have a little bit of fun renovating all the good stuff. But all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Do. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.